Hi everyone, Darren here, and it's time for a new brew. This time around, I'm going to do one of these Cooper's Selections uh, kits. It's a, a wheat beer, and I'm actually going to add my own little twist to it. Not that I'm terribly original, but um, I'm going to throw in some cardamom seeds here just to give the wheat beer kit uh, more of a, a flowery kind of flavor. And I figured this time, instead of taking you through all the steps involved in doing a kit beer, I'd go through some of the things that I haven't done in the past, like sanitizing your equipment on brew day. It's actually really easy, and uh, so let's just take a look at how that's done. So I'm using a product called Stericlean today. It is this pink, uh, purple powder stuff here, chemical. And you use a single teaspoon of the powder to uh, two liters of water. It's just regular old tap water. It, can, it doesn't have to be hot, hot, hot. It's just regular room temperature tap water. Mix it up and two minutes of your stuff sitting in it and you should be ready to go. So I'm just throwing my airlock and my stopper in there and I'm having a hard time getting it apart. So just throw it in all together. Uh, what do you do, eh? Right? Anyway, it'll be ready in two minutes. We'll be good to go. When it comes to sanitizing your carboy, there's nothing difficult to it. I'm just going to take my sanitized uh, my solution here and dump it in. I get to get some solution on my funnel. A little bit more, which is good. And in a moment, I will have a very sanitized carboy. Like I've said in the past, yeah, I like to be clean. But I don't want to obsess about it. Anyway, I'll let this stand for about two minutes, then I'll rinse it out. We're good to start brewing. Next up, boiling two liters of water for the extract to go into. And while I wait for the water to boil for the extract, I'm going to start filling up the carboy. 20 liters of water. And you do want it to be cold water because when you add your hot water, your boiling water, with your extract to it, it's going to bring it down to the right temperature for fermentation. And 20 liters of cool, clear, clean Thunder Bay tap water. And, ooh, look at that. Wheat beer. Here we go. Adding the extract to the boiling water. Nice. Just like a cooking show, eh? Woohoo. And in we go. That smells good. And you want to make sure you mix it really well before you add the yeast so you don't kill the yeast with all the hot, hot extract and water at the top of the mixture here. See what just happened there? I just pushed my cork all the way through. All right, classic mistake. Hot steam coming out of the carboy. Plug goes in, plug goes too far in. Brewer tries to rescue plug. Brewer pushes plug all the way in. So I've got my plug 
hanging out at the bottom of my carboy. But that's okay, it was sterilized. And I'll get one in there soon enough. So what I've done right now is I just put some um, cling wrap over the top here and I'm just going to go pop. Put a little hole in there. It's going to work just like an airlock. You saw that pop. You saw that it was kind of pushing out there even. So fermentation has already started. I took a specific gravity reading. We're sitting at 1.02 and uh, I threw my cardamom pods in there. I threw 300 grams of dextrose in there. So we're set. Not a big deal. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this batch turns out. Brew.